Hey, how's it going? Vladimir Donis here. So hey, I want to bring people on and do a quick video to talk about why network marketing doesn't work. So essentially, the things that I want to talk about is I want to talk about you do no recruiting, someone or something else recruits for you and your specific margin. margin. But before I get into the actual content, let me just provide you with some context. I believe that every business owner needs to have a marketing plan. And the only way for a business owner to have a marketing plan is that they need a marketing roadmap, which is why everything marketing for me, I go through a three-step process when I work with people on marketing just to make sure that their marketing is airtight. And today, the specific area that we're going to be speaking from today is the transformation section. That's the section that we're going to be speaking from today. So essentially, you know, this specific topic, why network marketing doesn't work, um, I want to kind of just date back to... Um, about two years ago, I had a conversation with someone that wanted me to join their specific opportunity. Now, I had a conversation with this person. This person wanted me to join their specific opportunity. And because this person wanted me to uh, join a specific opportunity, I had already been doing some marketing stuff. So I wanted to kind of just understand, okay, specifically, what will my margin be? So essentially, as it relates to that specific opportunity, that opportunity, I had the opportunity to make, you know, give or take about $100 or between $50 to $100 for every specific sell. So I thought to myself, okay, I can make between $50 to $100 for every specific sell. And I started to kind of just compare it. So whenever I'm about to join an opportunity, whenever I'm about to join anything, I think about an escape plan, right? So as an employee, when you first start a job, you think about, you think, you think to yourself, okay, how can I become, what is the next thing? How can I become a supervisor? How can I, how can I become a manager? And how can I grow? Essentially, that's the thing that you want to know. So I started to kind of just ask myself that same question. And I, and I went straight to comparing myself to, say, a real business, right? So network marketing, essentially what it's supposed to be, it's supposed to be a real business. I started to kind of just compare to myself to a real business. As a real business, per se, one of the first things that happens is that when an employee joins a real business, you start off as, as, as an entry-level individual. Entry-level individual, and then so in some instances, provided you do well, you move up to, say, a supervisor or a manager. Now, when you move up to a supervisor or a manager, you're moving up to a supervisor or a manager because the company can afford to pay you more because the company can afford to kind of just have someone else does the, do the job that you were doing. And because someone else can do the job that you were doing, you can go ahead and um, you can go ahead and become a manager. You can go ahead and become a specific supervisor. So now this specific individual, when he was telling me about that specific opportunity, he was saying, hey, I can make between 50 to, to $100 every, for, for every, every single person that I recruit or every single sale that I make. I started to kind of just think about it from the standpoint, okay, I have to, uh, you know, physically or manually reach out to these specific individuals. If that's the thing that I have to do from here on out, how am I ever going to be able to make any specific margin to remove myself from the process, right? If that's all I'm making, I can't remove myself from the process because the margin is so low. The margin is way too low for me to kind of remove myself from the process. Because if you think about every employee, everyone that kind of just start off as a real business per se, eventually they remove themselves from the process. There is nothing wrong with you know, outreaching to people from a cold standpoint, doing cold calls at the very beginning, there's nothing wrong with that, right? Because eventually, you know that eventually you can hire someone to do the work, eventually you can outsource some of the stuff, eventually you can work on, you know, bigger things. But specifically, some of the things that I see that is wrong with network marketing is that it's almost like a second job. And in some instances, in, in some instances, it's worse than a second job because, right, your margin is so low. You have such a low margin that eventually you're going to be the one that has to always, always keep doing the job over and over again. And because that is the case, right, you end up being stuck. Some people just end up quitting and saying, hey, you know what? I'm better off going to a regular job. I'm better off going to a regular job. I know I'm going to have a steady paycheck instead of kind of just chasing these specific individual to make a sale. And that sale is going to be such a large, I mean, such a small margin. So essentially, if I am talking talking about this and I'm saying this is a specific problem, I got to have a solution. So essentially, this is this specific solution. We have to treat network marketing like a real business. And the way that you treat network marketing as a real business is that you have to be able to eventually have someone or something else do the recruiting for you. So here's a specific example. For my specific opportunity, uh, I have a presentation that does the recruiting for me and the presentation well, the presentation allows me to earn $1,000 every single time. So why is that important? Why is $1,000 important? The reason why the $1,000 is important is because I can run what we call marketing. I can run Facebook ads to that specific presentation. I can afford to pay for ads to begin with. 
150 if I was making 150 dollars you know um, you know um, for that sale I can't afford to pay ads to run ads to that specific presentation then I am stuck with me physically picking up the phone physically posting physically doing all of this different stuff and I can never remove myself from the process with the presentation because one it's a presentation and two because I earn a thousand dollars for every time someone kind of just converts I can go ahead and remove myself from the process if I even wanted to I can go ahead and hire someone and say, hey, you know what? Each time you make me a sale, I'm going to give you $300 and I keep $700. Why? Because of the margin. The margin is large enough for me to be able to kind of just remove myself from the process. I can go ahead and do real marketing, and real marketing is running Facebook ads. I mean, I don't mind and I enjoy doing these Facebook lives and I enjoy doing these, these specific videos. If all I did was rent these specific videos on my timeline and expected people to kind of just buy from me just from that, that's not necessarily a business. A business is you have to be able to kind of expand and run marketing campaigns for the sole purpose of trying to get people to join your opportunity and for the sole purpose of you making some money. And the only way you can do that is if you have a margin that is that is large enough. So essentially, the way that I'm doing that as well is that when someone joins my specific opportunity, the other thing that I do is I give them a marketing system, a marketing plan, and whereby this marketing system by itself, right, I charge businesses thousands of dollars for the marketing system itself. So alone, I can go ahead and just make money with just the marketing system. So if you draw my opportunity, I give you the marketing system, right? And because the marketing system has value, you can go ahead and charge people a lot more because you can, because you can charge people a lot more um, for, the, for the specific system. Now you can go ahead and afford to run ads. You can go ahead and do marketing. Because you can do marketing, you can go ahead and remove yourself from the process. You can let something else do the recruiting for you so you don't necessarily have to be the one doing the recruiting all of the time over and over and over again now that is my humble opinion and that is why i see you know network marketing doesn't work that's why you know in some instances network marketing becomes worse than a second job to be honest with you because a second job i know if i show up once a week i know if i clock in i'm going to kind of just make this money per se but with network marketing you end up kind of just chasing people going all over the place x y and z you cannot do real marketing because of the amount of money you're making per transaction and it ended up being a loss loss situation so essentially one of the things that i'm doing right now is that my partner and i are hosting a free web class these type of videos are meant to be short and, and, and precise, but via the web class itself, what we're going to do is we're going to show you two things. Thing number one, we're going to show you how to generate a lead online, and thing number two, we're going to show you how to turn that lead into a customer. There's going to be a link somewhere on this page. You can go ahead and click on that link. What that link is going to do, link is, that link is going to allow you to go ahead and register for the free web class. The other thing that I'm working on is that if you're not in network marketing, but you are a business owner, you need marketing help, I can go ahead and be your marketing person as well. If I become your marketing person, we're going to work on a specific roadmap. I'm not going to be guessing. You're not going to be guessing. I'm not disciplined. You're not disciplined. And because we are not disciplined, we're going to follow a specific framework, a specific roadmap, just to make sure that from a marketing standpoint, everything is airtight. There's going to be a separate link on this page. You go ahead and click on that link. And what it's going to allow you to do is going to go ahead and, act and, and say to me that, hey, you're interested in marketing. I'm going to go ahead and send you the details. And from that point, we're going to be able to kind of um, work together. So, hey, that is my time. Thanks for listening. And I will talk to you soon. Cheers.